this demonstration, you'll learn how to efficiently select and define a location within your AIM study. Throughout AIM, you'll need to assign a location to various objects in order to properly set up, solve, and analyze the results of your study. Here, I already have a geometry loaded into AIM. The geometry represents a pipe and its flow volume. Currently, I'm in the meshing task of the study. A location is required to apply an inflation operation for the boundary layers of the flow volume. There are four buttons that change the different modes of selection, either vertex, line, face, or body. The line and face options can both be enabled at the same time. Often you'll know where you want to perform an operation before actually performing it. For example, I know that I want to apply a body mesh sizing to the pipe itself. So I'll select the pipe first, then use the context menu to add in the sizing. The context menu is filtered so that since I have a body selected, the only available sizing option is body sizing. Since the location of the body sizing was preset, once the size is set, I have completed applying body sizing to the solid pipe. If I don't happen to know what type of location to pre-select, then, without selecting anything in the graphics window, I can perform another operation. For instance, I want to specify that the mesh is inflated from the wall. Since I haven't predefined a location, I get a message indicating that attention is required, and I'm prompted to open the inflation data panel. To define mesh inflation, I need to select the faces that represent the interior surface of the flow volume, where it contacts the interior of the pipe. This is where I want the inflated mesh to be calculated from. Clicking in the Location field will automatically change the selection mode to be one that is compatible with the location. In this case, I see that the Location field only accepts faces. In the Graphics window, I'll select the faces that I wish to define as the location. I can use the Control key to multiply select geometric entities. Box selecting involves holding down the Shift key and moving the mouse. When box selecting from left to right, the selection includes only fully surrounded objects. When box selecting from right to left, the selection includes any object. The topology selector lets you select a portion of the geometry that is otherwise difficult to select, for example, an internal surface. Once I have selected the portion of the geometry of interest, then I can add it to the location using the appropriate button by the field. I can see that after completing this operation, that the location selection has reverted back to body selection. I'll now change that to face selection and select the remaining surfaces of the interior fluid volume. I could choose to replace the location, but in this case I'll choose to add it. Location fields exist elsewhere in AIM, such as when selecting bodies or volumes in the physics region panel, or when selecting regions for material assignment, or selecting faces for boundary conditions. I can use the Location Fields drop-down menu to select from other predefined objects, such as selection sets, or I can create new selections for the Location Field. If I create a new object from this menu, it will automatically be assigned to this location. I can even use expressions for my locations. For instance, to specify all parts or bodies for the location, I can use the expression All Bodies. Some objects, such as fluid wall boundaries, have a location defined by an expression by default. In areas of the results task, such as creating contours, the location field can also contain predefined name selection sets and boundaries, making it easier for me to analyze the results of my study. This concludes this demonstration of creating and using the location selection process and controls in AIM.